77 car, watch for the red lights to go out. Six hours on the clock. And the 2015 WE season finale is gone. And straight away, Ooh. the Audis are getting into it down the inside the seven car. Fantastic early move there by Marcel Fessler. He's trying to get amongst them early, but the two Porsches have restored first and second position. But that shows intent, bumping and barging. The G-Drive car in there with Tandy. There was side-by-side -side contact coming through the first couple of corners there, but Nick Tandy, I think, has got the drop on the Alpine as he came out in turns two and three. The contact, if there was contact, there was the 44 car, the 28, uh, John. We'll look and see how that one pans out, but uh, dust being thrown up, sand on the circuit everywhere here. They clean it well, but it's difficult to keep it completely clean. The two Audis now tussling. That attempt from Marcel Fesler didn't pay off. It was almost contact side to side with the 18 and the 7. Now the number 8 car, Lucas de Grassi looking for a way by his teammate. Slow start by the Baikolis, the CLM car. Pierre Kaffer has a lot of company in the shape of LMP2 cars. And it is the Tandy car, the 47, that's the head of the chain that we're sitting in the pool sitter who's been shuffled down to fourth position. He has indeed both of the... Of the, uh, the G-Drive cars have gone by. Nick Tandy, of course, uh, the 47 car got a, a uh, grid penalty for uh, track limits, but it's not stopped him on this first lap to the front of that field. Here come the GT cars through. Final race, as we said, there's a 71 that, 71 that started from the back of the grid, has already cleared all of the GTM cars on that lap one. And we should mention as well that uh, the Stanaway and McDowell and Fernando Reese Aston Martin will have to take a three minute stop and hold penalty. Uh, the reason for that was they used one too many sets of tyres in a free practice session. Which uh, I. We've seen worse this weekend not get such punitive penalties. Down the inside, the number eight Audi takes position from its teammate. So through goes Luca de Grassi, the very bubbly Brazilian, loving his time in sports car racing. Now, he needs to set off. I would, you know, I was just going to say, I wonder if Fesler going offline at the start had yeah. got his Michelin tyres dirty. It's very difficult to clean tyres here. Very few high-pressure corners, high-energy corners to screw off the tyres. Only the left-hander at turn 11 at the bottom of the second straight here. Great battling is the 92 Porsche with Patrick Pelier on board, looks for position there. That's the Corvette coming through in the back end there. That was a strong move by Pelier. It was indeed the 95 car also challenging up the inside of Johnny Adam looking for a way by. And this is important stuff for Porsche for the World Championship, for the Massive. Manufacturers World Championship in GT. And the 99 car, when is it going to take that, uh, that stop? And hold, here comes 71. They need to push hard to get back with this fight. Lucas de Grassi, freed from Marcel Fesler, immediately uh, ups the pace, bringing down the gap 2.3 seconds now from the 8 to the 17. We're expecting seven stops, eight stints from Audi, round about 28 laps for those, 29 possibly for Audi, and 30 plus for their competitors. They will be able to be making one fewer stops in the race. Change of position, and that's the championship leading 83 car. And that's championship leading 72, 72 car being taken by its challenger, the, the, the 83.